اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وقال الذین لا یعلمون وقال الذین لا یعلمون لولا یکلمون اللہ او تاتینا آیا کذالک قال الذین من قبلهم مثل قولهم تشابہت قلوبہم قد بینا قد بینا الآیات لقوم یوکنون انا ارسلناک انا ارسلناک بالحق بشیرا و نزیرا ولا تسألو ان اصحاب الجحیم Dear friends, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I recited Surah Al-Baqarah, ayat number 118 and 119. So these surah tells us about the views or ideas or belief of the uh, belief and the demands of Mushrikeen in Makkah and the people who were before like in Bani Israel and and other people who will come up to the day of judgment and will have demanded same like that one so those that they were just to say that why Allah is not to talk with us and why Allah is not to send the ayat like sent to Holy Prophet Sallallahu same like that and why we are not getting the miracles of Allah so that we may be in a position to show that one and uh, these type of things then uh, even they have seen the prophet sallam, the biggest sign of allah the holy quran and and the miracles that the holy prophet sallam, were, was given to to show them to uh, for the guidance but uh, after all they were not in a position to believe so this way allah is telling us about that one we read work Allah tells us wa qala allazina wa and qala mean they said wa qala and said allazina those people la yalamuna who have no knowledge it mean they have no knowledge mostly in the people who are uh, mushrikeen so they are um, when Allah tells us about them, Allah say, La Yalamun, because those people they have no knowledge, they have no, they have not in a position to believe any book. Because books of Allah, like Bible, Torah, and all other books, these are the books of Allah. They are not the knowledge that we got that comes from the from Allah. So in the form of book. So this way, these people who are mushrikeen, they have no knowledge. So this way Allah say, La Yalamun, because they have no any book, they don't believe any book. So this way Allah said, those people who were mushrikeen, وَقَالَ اللَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ And said, those people who were, uh, who have no knowledge, who are mushrikeen, لَا لَا Why not? يُقَلِّبُنَا يُقَلِّمُنَ اللَّهُ يُقَلِّمُ mean kalam, like, like talking. Nallah mean uh, with us Allah. Why Allah is not to talk with us? Why Allah is not to talk with us? Laula you call him on Allah. Why Allah is not to talk with us? Why Allah is not to speak with us? Autatina or Allah is not to, to send to us or or not to come uh, not to come to us aya any ayat. Why any ayat is not to come us? Ayat means the sign also. Why any sign of Allah not to come towards us? Sign means here, the sign is like uh, ayat. We have two meanings here. Like one is like ayat, like the Holy Quran. Same like that, they were expecting. Why Allah is not to send ayat uh, to us like ayat of Allah in the form of Holy Quran comes to you through Jibreel al Islam. Why they are not to these ayat are not coming to us similarly 
so similar like you so why they are, these ayat are not coming to us so this was the and even if we understand the ayat mean the miracles of allah so this was the other thing that they were saying that why the miracles of allah they are not to come us why we are not in a position to show those one to the people and di- different type of uh, ideas like they have so the different questions even some some mushrikeen from them they said why allah is not to write letters to us with our names and to tell us to come into the right guidance even different type of things they have uh, they said that time allah said kazalika this is like that call allah zina call i mean said uh, allah zina those people men kablem who were before them and the people what they are saying same things were were said by the people who were before them misla mean similar call him they are talking or they are saying what they said do it mean the people who were before them they also said the same thing like the in bani israel uh, the people they said to musa al islam we want to talk with allah we want to see allah so these type of things were also uh, said by the people also if we can see before so allah said those were tashabahat qulubuhum tashabahat are similar a uh, they are qulubuhum their hearts allah said that their hearts are similar it mean hearts of these mushrikeen and hearts of uh, those people who were in bani israel or before them who were demanding these type of uh, uh, these type of things from uh, from the prophets they say like why allah is not why are we are not to see allah not to talk allah and say allah allah talk with us allah we can Uh, see allah so these type of things they were saying to the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah said these people are those people like who were before them and their hearts are same it mean here we can understand if the hearts if something which is in the heart that comes on the tongue also and then the person is just to speak to say forward so we have to request allah to make our heart uh, qalb salim and uh, enrich with uh, the quran sunna and uh, with the complete belief and faith 100% that is uh, uh, that is liked by allah so our heart like is heart is very important thing because that is the part of uh, recommendation of our uh, you know iman because iman is uh, uh, based on the confirmation of tongue and uh, certifying by the heart so it mean the heart when it is not all right so then disturbance possible so this way allah said these people like mushrikeen their hearts uh, and the hearts of those people who were before them like uh, who were asking these type of uh, demand uh, like they want to see allah they want to talk allah they they were expecting that why the revelation comes to their heart why why revelation is not come to their heart why revelation comes to musa al islam or lo uh, this way uh, those people and these people their hearts are same it mean hearts are the main thing who after certifying heart so it becomes iman so then iman when we when we do uh, when we apply all that iman on our body parts just movement of the body parts our amal or deeds when they are working under the iman iman is like a law is like a rule and when our body part work under that one then alhamdulillah the iman is authentic iman then is practical iman and that is the thing which we want to pray every time so say allah o oh allah make our iman perfect complete accepted by you and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam at, at the day of judgment so please uh, you can see us with good eyes 
and we must be good in this life and the life hereafter like the holy prophet sallallahu every time he was to say rabbana at rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa qina azab an-nar so we have to say this dua every time also is very important also so this way uh, allah said next qad bayyana al-ayat qad indeed bayyana mean we have made clear ayat mean the signs so signs or ayat allah said the signs we have made clear to them le common for the people you can own who firmly believe so the people who firmly believe allah said we have already given the signs so you can see the signs the next allah is telling us inna indeed arsalna ka we have sent you uh, prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we have sent you bil haqq with the truth so with the truth bashiran bashiran to 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 give the happy news to the people warn aziran and warn uh, warn the people uh, from the torment of allah wala uh, wala tusalu and uh, you will not be asked on ashab al jahim for the people who will go to the hell and the people who will go to the hell and to to the blazing fire and the people of hell you will not be asked it mean the people who will disobey you who will not come into islam and practice according to the quran or sunnah so those people if if they are not accepting you and automatically so uh, you don't worry about them uh, and uh, they they will go to the hell but you will be not asked about them because your work is just to approach them and tell them uh, the about islam to convey the message uh, that is the need so that was the thing even prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was in love with the people he was not uh, expecting anyone to go into the hell so mostly he was to cry and he was to request allah for the guidance of the people so that was so much so this way allah said allah is encouraging prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam you don't worry about them also and uh, we will not ask you the, about the people who will go into the hell because of the uh you know they have not uh, accepted the guidance so that is the important thing and even here like the allah said in the previous ayat qad bayyana al ayat li qaumi ya yuqinun so allah said bayyana ka mean bayyana mean made clear bayyana al ayat we have made clear ayat mean the signs li qaumi yuqinun for the people who firmly believe so the ayat mean the best ayat best uh, uh, sign uh, of guidance which allah sent down to the people that is in the form of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the other is the holy quran this way allah said inna arsalna ka bil haqq bashiran wa naziran so we uh, we have indeed we have sent you though you are actually you are the biggest sign of allah for the guidance of the people bil haqq and haqq came with you and you also came with the haqq haqq mean holy quran and quran and sunnah is the best thing that allah sent for the people as the clear sign of guidance for the people who have aql and mind they can understand it so bashiran and you are to give the happy news to the people and also to warn the people if they are so these are two things very important because if a person who is doing every time good things and uh, sometimes a person may say that if i do something wrong what maybe is no problem the maybe person can do so uh, this we allah said to warn the people that uh, Uh, warning is also a very good gift because it it makes a person away from the bad things so this way the person who is doing the good things and feel that i will be i will get uh, paradise at the day of judgment inshallah but uh, the person feels also that if i am not to if i go beyond the limits of islam automatically there is the problem uh, that uh, hell is also waiting for me then so this way the person is in between the the fear and hope 
uh, fear of Allah and uh, and also and the hope to go into paradise to be mercies of Allah. So just a person is always in between the hope and fear. So that is a good thing. So this way we we need we understand that that uh, you know the if a person who is blind who can't see so because these people who were mushrikeen they were like a blind people they were not to see the light of islam and even they have seen the holy prophet sallallahu and they have seen the holy quran also um, but they were uh, like blind people so even you can see here if uh, what they were saying they that they want to see allah so they want to see allah they want to talk with allah so these type of things they told to prophet sallallahu you can expect if allah is before us and then how is possible we can do anything according to our own will and our own desire so then like the angels you you can see they can't do anything wrong because they are allah is before them so but allah is hidden we are uh, like uh, we are not in a position to see Allah this way we can do any everything according to our own desire we got the guidance in the form of Holy Quran and Sunnah so this way we are to look at the guidance and to follow that one but Allah wants to see us that uh, how many people are to follow the right guidance in the form of uh, Quran Sunnah, but uh, how many people are going beyond the uh, beyond the limits of Islam and to follow their own desires? So that is the main thing uh, on which the accountability is based. The accountability that will be done at the day of judgment, and on the basis of that, so people will go to the hell and paradise. So we have to look that one where we are, and then, like you can see, the Jesus uh, and the Christian, they say Jesus has died and he has taken our sins and all the sins what we will do up to the day of judgment those have been taken by him and uh, no need to do anything good or bad what whatever we do so everything is okay so we will we are the people of paradise so that is not a, a good thing uh, like similar to this one for us some people from us they also expect that if we are doing bad things and uh, no problem when before uh, uh, before the death and uh, death is any time uh, but we will make a tawbah so on on the basis of tawbah if a person is doing the sinful things that is the a person who is doing the biggest crime so that is a bad thing so so we we don't expect to because when the next moment we are alive or no so that death may come any time in our life so we have to look uh, and that uh, uh, what type of uh, deed we are doing and uh, what is the position of iman in us so we have to look every time and uh, we have to refresh our iman and and the uh, iman and amal saleh like uh, good deeds uh, just uh, with respect to the quran and sunnah and we have to guide ourselves uh, after reading, understanding, and implementing the Holy Quran and Sunnah upon our own deeds and Iman. And we have to tell other people also to save them from the hell and to make their way towards the paradise. Because that uh, is, if we do so, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu he will love us so much because Holy Prophet Sallallahu was in love with the whole people. He was expecting that the, everyone should go to the uh, paradise. So this way he was crying many times also. So if we are just to uh, understand this uh, point in our mind, and uh, we first of all we make our life better according to quran and sunnah then we have to convey the message of quran and sunnah to the other people even muslim non-muslim everyone so that those people they are saved from the torment of the hell and they will go to the paradise so that is 
excellent thing and very good that we are saving the people from the punishment, from the torment of Allah, from azab ilahi So we are making them, making their way towards the paradise that is excellent thing and will be liked by Holy Prophet Sallallahu at the Day of Judgment and surely he will take us to the paradise inshallah.